I wish I wish I had something beautiful inside of me. I wish I had something beautiful to say. I don't. I'm sorry. I wish there was light extending from my heart to beyond forever, and you could see it from some mountaintop, and together we could hear laughter and Mozart, harps strumming, sparkles drumming, birds flumming, enchantment, sunbeams blinding my iridescent eyes. I wish love had been real. It's all the same, no matter, an indifferent world. It's really not indifference, but loud, pervasive, screaming, shrieking shame, because the world is black and love is dead, which means art is dead. Love is over in this artist's graveyard, I'm told is red. Go take the train to the next port of a portal, the next dock of a squirtle, and you'll find me standing there with my arms above my head like some alien, waiting to get sucked back to where I came from instead, of this mental squalor, this denial of fame, because our eyes are all burning from staring too long at the modern flame. Give me love and lovemaking, something that means something, please. Forget it, it's over. Since the sheep have been bleached, the tea has been steeped for too long, the water is tepid, the longing is septic, that longing we had as children before the world wide web existed. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Lou Reed said to me, never mind. Probably better off he died. Decided not to reincarnate. He said this world was over, said his songs lost their thunder. Thanks to your sacred internet, he said. Sometimes I feel nostalgia so severely it makes my heart ache. Think your technological device, take a picture of me with your prosthetic vice. You've unknowingly, willingly forfeited your memory. And everyone is just so goddamn pleased with themselves so eager to tell you about their latest purchase and how it differs from their previous purchase. I'm sorry I'm 33 and unable to change with the tide. I'm sorry I'm 33 and born in the wrong time. Give me the 60s, the 70s. Even the 80s were okay. But this shit, cocksucker. The degradation of brain. That hypnotic mitt soldered to your clumsy paw, and we have two choices as far as I can see, accept it or die, actually just one because I perish in mediocrity. On the train, when I want to scream poetry into the faces of the extras of my life, the ugly faces lit by the blue light prayer they clutch religiously, and I'm a fucking participant, barricaded in gold participation ribbons of the millennial generation. And Jesus never came back for us. Jesus never came back for us. Jesus never fucking came back. The internet was wrong again about the weather today. I wish I would die. I wish I would drop dead in this very moment. I wish the chandelier would bust over my head. I wish stars would crash down and fall under your drinks and break your beer glasses and crack out your wine-stained teeth. I wish we'd all fucking die, wipe this planet fucking clean to start over. For the cheetahs and the giraffes and the jellyfish and the seeds, whatever is left, they can start again clean. And the upright animals without fur flaunting their opposable thumbs can get sucked into hell. I'm just negative because I'm negated. Just another artist spat on by time. Just another schizophrenic transient prophet, some self-proclaimed poet, unnecessary, born in the wrong time. The toilet is overflowing with new technology. Better go out and buy it. I'll stay home and broadcast my suicide live to view on a sapphire glass screen. Anyway, this is all one rational hallucination, one normal, explainable <laughs> dream inside a dream. This one's called Instead. Somewhere in the trees of Oregon. Up a tree, down a kite, wind in my pipe, go last a lifetime. Times have changed, no more remaining of age. 33 years blunt, 33 years closer to dead, never more alive, this is Instead. I stand here before a tower and a train and some laughter and my muse is my daughter, my only son, Kodachrome. 
Christmas portraits, some future of us picture perfect and the whole world tunes in, we turn the whole world on. Somewhere in the footage of Manhattan, the toxic pipes, sewage flooding over my bed, sound of trains and clicking stoplights and what you said instead. That day, when it was summer, and pouring rain, and I ran inside and put on my bathing suit and danced down Houston Street, and you stood on the sidewalk taking pictures of me. And no one stopped to stare, which is that weirdest fucking hell phenomenon of being surrounded by special people too special to open their eyes. Anyway, I would have taken them by the collar, the hands, the face, the thighs, and danced with them in the rain, and kissed them, and licked them, and exchanged blood for a change. Give me your tired, and I'll lick them back to instead. Give me your inspired, and I'll fuck them back to dead. <laughs> Give me your rotten, and we'll pick apples from overhead. Somewhere in the trees of Oregon, instead. <laughs> wrote this one. It's called Delia Free. You're the realest artist I ever knew. The realest artist I used to. You took it upon yourself to make an executive decision for the team and alone is how I face the graveyard of destiny, this involuntary emotional vasectomy. You understood my art, that archaic language of symbology. You too used it in your poetry. Hell, you taught me poetry. Through your writing, the way you talk to me, I miss you, but also fuck you. In the dark when it comes to my art, who can I, why did you, how are you, never mind, fuck you, fuck you. Typically I'm the one who walks away, let's be honest, okay? Nothing is good enough, so wouldn't you know? Fifteen years of love in the shape of a best friend. History said I should have known better, though all I could see through these lenses was kindred glitter. God damn it, poet, you broke me. I hate being free. I hate you without me. <laughs> You're awake and I'm awake. And if we had a farm, it wouldn't be unusual for us to get up now. Every morning we would rise and beat the sun, bare feet on worn hardwood. You put on your coveralls and I live in sundresses and we let the, the weather age our skin in the traditional sense. I collect eggs and you take out the dogs and gather hay. You feed the cows, I milk the cows and head back to the house. But first I set down this heavy metal carafe and pick some wild flowers, snap the stems with my calloused hands, pink and purple and golden like hymns, and daisies. I push open the screen door, drop the flowers in a mason jar, start breakfast, fry eggs and bacon on a cast iron, fresh milk with cream on top, still warm. We don't bother to refrigerate. I look down at my feet and realize they're kind of muddy. I forgot shoes again. But instead, we are two insomniacs alone in two apartments sending messages back and forth through glowing screens. <laughs> I, I hate technology, obviously. This one's called Baby Hand Cam. Once upon a time, I rode a bike. And while I was riding, it slowly morphed into a trike. And as I rode uphill, and as I rode that trike uphill, screws spun off, and the wheels tinkered and scattered behind me, shattering like glass, flying back, 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 until I held nothing but a metal pipe in my hands. And I ran uphill, holding that metal pipe, clutching tight to that metal with all my might, fast as light. And together we ran and ran, fast as we can, fast as we could, toward the clouds as I understood. And when we got to the top of that hill, I was a baby again. And the pipe, my spirit, drink a drop in a bucket, some long withstanding overstood for all of time. And if we could, I wish I may, I wish I might, understand. But I stand before you, naked without a pipe, because I threw it as far and as fast as a baby hand can. We were throwing that metal pipe against the wind until it became a boomerang again and flew back and hit me in the skull. I have one more. Do I have one more? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Just four minutes. <laughs> um, we are the seams of everything. 
like how the tide for the first time today rushes onto the land. And again and again again. We are the seams of everything. We are midnight switching to 12.01 a.m. We are the first blaze of fire blasting over the horizon. And we are the sudden absence of it again. We are the silence just after a crater hit Oregon land, and we are the water drops tapping the pooling water. We are everything that is falling from the sky, like the shooting stars, the imprints we suddenly see billions of years later. We are the seams of everything. Your opens, one's eyes, now eyelashing. Equators and such. Finish lines. Gunshots. A baby thing's first smack on the back, and then sudden gooey gasp. We are the seams of everything, cross over from darkness to light, the blink on of a flashlight, my voice cracking for the first time, cough, yawn, hiccup, heartbeat, a plant before a plant is just a seed, just a seed, a seed cracking open, words never before spoken, out shoots a fragile and strong spike of green, potential, earthly thing, the precursor to fruit is just a seed, just a seed. We are the seams of everything. Yin and yang, a circular, polka dotted, heart broken, words softly spoken, birth of tadpoles and calves, crawdads, jellyfish, atoms, axioms, atomic nonsense, sound, scent, cinema credits, my eardrums ringing from sirens, with my head buried inside your chest, your hands cupped over my ears, shelter from the sounds. We are the seams of everything. The first time your hand touched mine, and our hands looked away, and found each other again, time after time after time. Yes, we are the seams of everything. Like blue hour, dew on grass, watching us run, bare and free and wet and feet, muddy, off the grid, somewhere where no one knows. And the first submergence underwater, when the air is warm, but not that warm, but we wanted it to be warm. Okay, it's cool, but we dive into the lake we made, jumping from the tire swing with all the barefoot dreadlocked sweethearts on the commune where I spent some compartment of this life. And bonfires and fireflies and night. Battery-operated radio playing old CDs from a time when we used to buy CDs. Like records in the 60s. Oh, nostalgia. Fruit punch mysteries. Trampoline. I braid my hair, but I don't have a hair tie. It falls out. But we're singing until the sun makes its way out of the sky, and up into the sky, and out of the sky, and up into the sky. Thanks.